What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I can show you how to create a point and click mechanic so your player will go into a specific point that you have pressed with your mouse on your camera. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is right click, go and create a new blueprint class, this will be in the character, and this will be a BP underscore, for example, player. Let's open this up. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the event graph, and I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to say that when we press the left mouse button we'll go ahead and do something in this case it's the key that we want to use to select the point that we want in our level from our camera and go there okay so we'll see how we go so what I'm going to do is basically do a line trace by channel a line trace is basically an invisible right cast like a line will, which will go from A to B and it will detect whatever it has hit so in this case, we'll get the location of that raycast. So we'll go from our camera to where the mouse is pointing. So then we can get the location. So in this case, let's use this node, which is just the get player controller, because it will get it will get access to this other node, which is basically convert mouse location to well space. This is very important because this will allow us to begin in here. So where our mouse right now is. And now we can get the direction of that and you just basically multiply it by a flow. So you just right click and convert this into a flow a single precision. Now, this is the distance that we want to be able to click. In this case, let's put a very high distance like 10,000, just to make sure that we will get what we want. <laughs> and then let's get a wall location and add it with this vector and that will give us our end point. And you will see that if I put this in for duration, it will work. But first of all, let's add a few things. In our mesh, in this case, I'm using the third person template, so I can use find, for example, many, uh, and use place it here, which is what I'm going to do. So minus 89, minus 90. So let me place it good in location. And then let me go ahead and add a camera boom. So camera boom, well, in this case, will be a arm length, arm length. Spring arm, they change the name every two weeks, okay? So I had to uh, make use of it. So now the spring arm will allow us to place a camera and you can see that it will be placed in the end of here. So we'll be aiming here. So now the spring arm, we can just rotate it, put it up, increase the size into like a thousand and two hundred, for example. It'll be very far away and our camera will be here. So now if we press play, as you can see, we are using all our players, so let's, let me change to use the other player. So in vault settings, game mode, let's put our player to be our default pawn class. And now, as you can see, we have this here. So you can see when I click, you can see that I'm getting the right cast. So it's basically doing some rays into the point. Great, so another thing I have to do is in the begin play, so let me do it the begin play, is just go and get again the get uh, game player controller and then set show mouse cursor and this will just allow us to see the mouse every time and it will not be hitting as you can see now we can see where we are clicking and pointing great so with that said let's make our player move into that location that we are hitting in this case let's first of all make sure that we have hit something just in case and now if we get this and break the hit result we have all the information of that specific point that we have hit it. and now what we can do is go and get this and use this node, which is uh, move to, and we can see that we have the where is it, where is it, location, um, simple move to location, okay? Now the test one, it will be the navigation one, simple move to location. And here the control will be just be get controller, so ourselves, and the goal will be the location. We have to add one thing into our level to be able to uh, let our player navigate. And it's gonna be in here, so quickly add to the priority. Let's go into uh, what is it, volumes and go into nav mesh balance volume. So, in here, we can just add into the scene. Let me click this reset button, so it'll be like in the zero of the, the scene. And I can just say scale and put like 20, it will fill in the whole scene. Let me just move it a bit so actually fill in the whole scene like this. Then press P, and you can see that we can now preview all the paths. That our AI now can go. And now you'll see that when we press play and point, the player will go into that specific location. Now, the thing is that let's make it so that it will look into where it's going. So we can go into the character movement component, go a bit down, and enable uh, orient rotation to movement. And now you will see that the player will go ahead and. Well, okay, so yeah. So you've seen that 
we have no problem is that the AI is trying, not the AI, the player is trying to always be facing where our camera is. So first of all, let's go into class default, search for yo and disable use control yo. You'll see that now that will change how it looks, but I can see the player is like rotating the whole camera and so on. We don't want that. So let's quickly go into spring arm and click on where is it? use pawn control rotation. And now you'll see that the camera will be still, but our our player will orient where it's looking. But now this introduces a new problem is that the camera now is like the rotation has been, um, let's say that over in, right? Like the rotation is not doing anything more. So now what we need to do instead is go and put like a thousand in the socket offset and then get the camera and rotate it maybe like 30 degrees down. And now we are looking down and we can press and the player will go there. So let's quickly just go ahead and apply some of the animations. So let me just right click animation, go into legacy, blend space 1D, SK mannequin. Uh, we can select that. This will basically just allow us to transition between different animations depending on the speed. So again, here just put the speed. Uh, maximum will be uh, 500, 600, I think, in this in our player. Uh, snap to grid. So now I can search for the idle animation and put the idle in the left. So when there's no speed, and then go and put the run or whatever you want in the right. So when there's speed. So as you can see, if I hold control, move around uh, along this timeline, the speed will increase and the animation will increase with it. Great, so now we need to create an animation blueprint to apply all this uh, behavior. So let's let the SK mannequin once again, ABP underscore player, uh, open this up and get our blend space, which in this case is called like this. <laughs> Very cool name, new blend space. And I just right click, promote this to a variable. So now the speed will be set. If I were to put 100, it will slowly move, so you can see, but let's make sure that the default is zero. Now the bank graph, let's just get the velocity from the owner of this blueprint because we want to change the speed depending on the one of the player in the game. So we can just get the one from the owner and just pass in there, which is this node, which is the vector length. So we'll convert the vector into a float. And now, yes, we can pass into the speed. We need to, of course, remember to apply here. So it will be uh, a BB player. And now, yes, you can see when I press play, I can go to this point, you can see the flow will go, and everything just works, and I can in interrupt that point there. So that's it, guys. If you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate you with the video and subscribe to my channel. Lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so make sure to check them out. The profiles will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.